Hello, we are going to start a new video of the course about GIS for municipality management. Now we are going to see how to work with uh, 3D views. So first, uh, to start we are going to create a new view. We press new and then from view properties you are going to change the reference system if you don't have uh, this one, 4326 in the current projection, you are going to change it. So we press OK. If you don't have it, you can look for it at the, at the, at the EPSG option. And then here we have the reference system. And now we have the reference system of the view. So we are going to add new layer that will be model 15 digital elevation model of Italy and roads we are going to press control key to select both layers we press open we are going to load the the raster layer normally because it's a, a small layer and we press accept so here we have the digital elevation model and the uh, the road we're going to change the symbology, Click, uh, double clicking <coughs> on the line. We are going to select a red color and the size. <coughs> Sorry. And here we have the, uh, the new uh, symbology. And then we are going to create a, a 3D view. We can do it from this uh, toolbar Three, a spherical 3D view or flat 3D view or we also can do it from view 3D view and spherical or flat, flat one we're going to select spherical 3D view here we have the new view and the cartography is there but if you don't know uh, where it is you can select this option synchronize 3D view port and then the zoom goes to the uh, layer here we can manage the different zooms and we can see a, sh a short uh, a small elevation because it's using the, the elevation of the uh, NASA uh, layer we can increase the elevation here or not and we also can use the digital model as a uh, as the elevation instead of raster layer we can use it as an elevation so for that we can go to the to the view and then the digital elevation model raster properties 3d tab and digital elevation model the loading mode for that we accept we are going to the 3d view again and now we, we can see that the the raster layer isn't here but it's used as a, an elevation as a digi digital elevation model we can see the roads but the raster layer the digital elevation model it's used as a digital elevation model on the 3d view well we also can create from gbc uh, from a 3d view we can create uh, animation for that we can we have we have to press this button animation manager and we are going to uh, to make uh, screenshots in different uh, zooms to calculate it so for for example we can start here we are going to use the view untitled is this one we are going to add a new animation animation zero then we select it we are going to use the spherical 3d view and now we are going to add different frames at different uh, zooms so for uh, to start we can add here 
a first frame. We can use the general view, for example. Then we are going to the start uh, where the row starts. For example, we are going to press another one. Road first point. For example, now another one. We are going to keep the name of the frames. Here, another one. A new one. For example, and to finish, here. For example, here. And then the last one here for example well we have the different frames so we can uh, we can choose the the zoom to the different frames to check them or we can uh, close the animation but uh, to check the video that uh, has been recorded you we can use the run uh, button so from that it's an interpolation between the different frames the first one, the second one so we can record a video with a video recorder in our computer and it's very useful for the if you have in your munici municipality a tourist, tourist uh, path for example you can use it to record this uh, path Okay, it has finished. So we are going to close the manager, the animation manager. And now we are going to see a new another functionality in the 3D views that is the extrusion. So we are going to create a new view from the project manager. The reference system with be, uh, will be same one for 3 to 6. We accept and here we have the new view in EPSG for 3 to 6. We are going to add a new layer that will be New York uh, buildings. <coughs> we press open and we accept and here we have this shape file and the attribute table has a field called, called high roof which are the uh, feet of the different buildings and we are going to use this field to, uh, to uh, create the extraction for the layer so we have to press uh, properties or double click properties and we have the 3d tab where we can where have to select extracted vector because we are going to extract the uh, layer the field will be high roof and here we can choose the vertical exaggeration for example if we have the number of floors we can choose the, the meters uh, for example for example each floor is three meters about three meters so if, if we have the field with the name of the floors we will use we would use uh, three for example but if we have uh, the the high we can use a vertical exaggeration uh, one we are going to apply and accept and now we are going to create a 3d view but in this case we are going to cre create a flat 3d view from here we are going to zoom 
to the layer, synchronize 3D viewport. And here we have the buildings, the extruded buildings here in Manhattan, in New York. It's a 2D layer, but we have ex uh, selected the, the, flat, the extrusion, uh, the height of the different buildings, and we have uh, the extruded layer in a 3D view. Okay, and with this uh, functionality, we are finishing the, uh, this video about the 3D tools in GBC. See you at the next video.